This is Twit. My app is called Health Sync. I looked into this app. I think it was last week when I was talking about the Galaxy Watch Active that I'm wearing uh, and occasionally doing Ouija tricks with. Um, <laughs> that Sam, I, I believe Flo had mentioned on the episode last week that the Samsung Universe with the Galaxy Watch Active syncs to Samsung Health. But if you want to sync to Google Fit as one example, um, it's not the easiest, most straightforward thing to do. Uh, so there is an app called HealthSync, which I will show off if my fingerprint works the first time, which it did, yay, uh, that is designed to help facilitate this. So when you set this up, it asks you on the very first screen, like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to go from Samsung Health to Google Fit? Are you trying to go from Google Fit to Samsung Health? Are you trying to go in between uh, Samsung Health and uh, Fitbit uh, app or Polar app? So it has a little bit of flexibility as like which direction and what services you're syncing to. But this is just the idea behind it. You set up the, uh, the permissions, you tell it the direction that it's going, and you set up all the different ways things data points basically that are coming from your watch that you want to sync over to that service so for instance i have steps on the wearable device i have my heart rate blood pressure glucose uh, weight water intake sleep uh, information and exercises you set it up you get sync working and when i go over to google fit i'll go ahead and tap into there uh, some of this data, yes, is pulled from the phone. I actually had to deactivate, I think, in settings. I had to deactivate, uh, what was it, track activity metrics. Uh, otherwise, it was it was double counting my steps. It would track it in Samsung and then, and then merge it over. And then it would also track it in Google Fit from the device. So I had to turn that off. Um, but what you end up with is, I'll go into my journal as one example here. Here's a list of like all the activities uh, that have happened recently. And you can see that the heading up at the top there, Health Sync. That information was pulled over from Health Sync. So this was my sleep information that Health Sync actually tracked. And it doesn't pull over all of the information uh, necessarily. Like if I go into the Samsung Health app, you'll see a little bit more granular information as far as what my sleep was like, for instance, how long I was in REM. Uh, and at what time and that sort of stuff, but it'll sync over data points that it's able to. Uh, so, you know, this might work better for something like miles or steps, that sort of stuff. And uh, so you can determine what you want to sync over and hopefully that kind of fills the gaps a little bit, allows you to still you know, bring information into Google Fit, which might be your primary, or maybe, maybe you want to go in the other direction and you want to make Samsung... Uh, health your primary you can do that too uh because actually samsung health is is pretty pretty nice i've actually enjoyed using it but you can see like if i go into my sleep data there's a lot more information in here uh in samsung health that wasn't necessarily synced over to google fit but but it's one way to sync it's not perfect but it is an option uh it does have a free version though that's time uh limited to the first week here i'll go back over to it so for the first week, it's free, and then you either have to pay two ninety nine, or I think it's like ninety nine cents a month for subscription. Which I don't know why you do that. Just pay two ninety nine, and you unlock it permanently, and then it just syncs uh, in the background for you. It's called Health Sync, and it also works on other uh, other Samsung watches. It's not just this. And actually, to be to be honest, it doesn't require a watch. It could just be from any of the information that your Samsung health app is already collecting, say, from the device. Uh, so it's flexible as far as that's concerned. So Health Sync is the name of the app. Go check it out. I actually think cool. this is a pretty good app because it does solve an issue I've had just historically with all of these health apps. So Fitbit doesn't talk to anything else. Google yeah. Fit doesn't talk to anything else. Samsung Health doesn't talk to anything else. Garmin doesn't talk to anything else. All these companies are super into proprietary data that they collect and they don't want to share with anybody. And I think in the fitness tracker space, that is true to it. Like the level of rigidness the companies have about that is way more so than a lot of other like, you know, kind of personal data collection things. So mm -hmm. I think this app is actually pretty cool. 
Nice. That is pretty. It is pretty. I will. I will plug uh, one app that does talk nicely. My running app that I use, Runtastic, um, which I think Adidas bought. Mm -hmm. uh, it does have a con connect this to Google Fit. So nice. it, I track I track all my running data and then it it spits it, it spits it into Google Fit, um, which is nice, you know, to have that internet connectivity. Um, those are the only fitness apps I use, so I've never run into this problem. But the fact that the other ones don't play nicely is, I think, speaks more to the fitness industry's lack of understanding about what data can do for their users than any sort of nefarious like we're going to hold on to our data all the time kind of issue. Mm. I think just because fitness companies don't, they're like, well, of course we want to keep this data. They want to come to us and don't right. realize that if you play nicely, people will still use your app, but then they can do other stuff with their data. So. Yeah, it's true.